one of the things that surprised me the most on our 24-hour stream was just how much I enjoyed running around out here on Mississippi Acres. And the important part about that is that we weren't hunting alligators. We hunted pretty much everything else. And I just had an absolute blast. So I wanted to come back out here and do a little more of that today. And I also wanted to say at the very beginning here, there are going to be 24-hour stream highlights, but that is, unsurprisingly, a lot of time and footage and stuff to go through so that will be down the road a little bit i wanted to let you guys know about that because i'm sure there will be questions uh, regarding when those highlights are going to come out they will happen i'm just not sure when but for now we're going to see if we can get some more mississippi trophies not a bad start either pretty decent size level three raccoon and this was one of the things that we were doing a lot on the stream was hitting these guys with a bird shot and it's actually quite effective. Um, I think we have at least one diamond raccoon with birdshot before, and I don't know, it just, it almost seems better than shooting him with the 22 anyway. That guy was a nice little gold. Brown fur type as well, just right on 9 at trophy rating, but I kind of wanted to switch up the loadout a little bit today just to carry some weapons that we don't necessarily always carry. So we've got three nice wood grain weapons today. We have the Norden 20 gauge shotgun, obviously we just used that. The Eckers 30 out 6, which of the three variants, this is probably the one I used the least. And just the 22 gauge uh, wasp variant with that wood grain, kind of to match the theme here. Well, unfortunately, that turkey is going to make a pretty good effort to get in away. Man, the 22 gauge soft points did good there. A lot of times, if you don't get a vital hit with them, I mean, the turkeys are going quite some distance, but we got that one down. I think... Actually, I'm not sure if we ever did shoot a level 3 Eastern Turkey. We may have. I want to say that we have two diamonds, one of which was one that we randomly shot in a video, and then, like, the next day in single player, I ended up getting one as well. But this guy could have a shot, and really, I guess if that's the case, we don't have many variations of diamonds. In this case, just another gold at 4.4. Brown plumage type I feel like is one of the diamonds we have, but I'm not even sure at this point. I don't know for sure if level 4 raccoons can make diamond. Actually, with that estimate, that guy would have no chance of it, but we're still going to go ahead and take him down. Our first uh, non-turkey animal anyway to have a shot. I don't know if that second shot impacted. Again, there's no chance he'll make it. We may just go ahead and hit them again to uh, try to speed up the process. If you can hit them well like that, they do not make it far. And again, we've seen like with the 22H, even with the soft point rounds, they'll often end up running pretty far and for, for quite a period of time. That was two hits. I mean, 11 score, not too bad, right at the top of his estimate. And I would say our best kill thus far. Now that's what I've been waiting to see this entire time. They flush like from behind us though, which makes it a little tough to like get to spot everything and try to make the ideal shot. Now we can kind of get around them. The one thing I will say, and we can't spot because we're going to end up claiming that one quail, is that uh, the host already left. So I don't feel as bad about just putting a ton of hunting pressure out here. I don't think we got any of those follow-up shots, so... Now we get to run around and claim all these quail. I do always try to look, and I think it would be fairly obvious. There are albino quail in this game, and of all the possible rares on Mississippi, I talked about wanting to get a gold rare alligator at some point. An albino quail might be the top of the list for me. They look really cool, and I try to make sure that I kind of look at all the birds as they're flying past and make sure that I don't miss any. Man, lots of golds in this flock as well, but... Like I said, I think I would know if there was an albino quail, they should look that different. And I'm just going to continue to, you know, if, if a quail warning calls or mating calls, run that direction just in case one shows up. But we did pretty well there. Actually, some of the remaining quail seem to be flying off, but we'll be happy with the bunch that we got. Bunch of golds and no diamonds, unfortunately. We're kind of getting the opportunity to see just about everything today. That is my favorite, I think... Uh, fur type for the wild hogs is the brown hybrid but with like the white around the snout not all the brown hybrids have that and another kind of rare thing is the opportunity to just spot all the quail in a flock while they're on the ground and I've, I've kind of already gone through and done that 
none of them are all that big. So we're going to go ahead and take the hog, but I do want to confirm it's about 300 meters out, so we'll zero for that. And our first shot with the 30 odd six today, hold on. Okay, that pig looked extremely albino for a second. Talking about albino quail really got me to believe that. Must have been the way the light was hitting, so no reason to panic there. It was just a, I think, black spotted is the fur type, and we definitely did get our male. So a little bit of panic there, but ultimately just a nice gold wild hog. Kind of on the lower end of that max weight estimate, but again, I just like what they've done with the fur quality updates, where they've kind of added stuff like this. I just think that would be, I don't know, what I would expect more out of a wild pig. Like, the, the additional colorage, you know that? It's just really, really nice. And 118, uh, about 20 above gold. Not too bad to boot. Speaking of seeing everything, how about an aggressive wild hog? And I'm not too sure what caused it to go aggressive. I mean, surely we ended up getting too close, but that's not something they just do all the time. Maybe it was the fact that, like, we're not too far from the water down here. I wanted to go and maybe look and see if there were any gators around. So maybe it just couldn't kind of flee the other direction, but that was kind of neat. We only get that really like a couple of times a year, I would think. Ooh, that's a decent gator. Mythical just running right at us. Now, I believe that's going to be the olive fur type one that I had a track of. I was kind of open to maybe see something else, but between the fact that we already have a couple of olive diamonds and the fact that, I mean, it kind of just ran right past us again, I'm not too upset about that. I'd like to maybe find some other ways of getting a diamond. Are, are they called dark brown, I think? Uh, most recent diamond gator that we shot with the muzzle litter. I thought that was kind of cool because it was a little bit different, uh, minus the fact that we had to wait forever for it to pop up out of the water. So I'm hoping to eventually maybe kind of get better at some of those next shots and attempt something like that if we can ever find another legendary, but yeah, just a nice opportunity to get yet another species off of Mississippi. Well, that's unfortunate. I wasn't really sure where this mythical gray fox had gotten to, and I felt like especially the way this hunt has gone, with it getting towards a gray fox drink time, we should go after them. And when I saw this mythical, I wanted to kind of stock in, because we do have the 22H, but now we are relying on its ability to hit a run shot, and you know what? Maybe I should have just ran at it to begin with, because that worked pretty well. There are gray fox running everywhere. This is the lake where we shot our super rare. It's this little spot over here, kind of on the east side of the map, towards the middle, and it's definitely one of the best areas for Gray Fox, if not the best area for Gray Fox on the entire map. But I don't often run into this many different ones. I want to continue to check for types. This guy was a red 6.1, not bad. Pretty good size mythical. But, I mean, yeah, obviously we have the Piebald Diamond. I really want a Leucistic, and I don't know what I would do with it if we got one, but that's kind of why I continue to check them just in case we can find one. In fact, someone shot one during the 24-hour stream when we were here. I am never very good at this, but I wonder what the odds are that we can make a decent shot on a swimming gator in an area that is definitely shallow enough to make a recovery. I always... Oh, that actually worked. I always aim for the eye if I'm within like 120 meters and they're swimming kind of like from left to right or right to left. Uh, that seems to be about the lead you have to put on them in order to get the brain. And, I mean, it's always cool to make those shots. Like, as you can probably tell by my reaction, I didn't necessarily expect to land it. I can see another one over there. Actually, same, uh, same level uh, resting in that area. But I think that'll actually be a good place to wrap up. No special trophies today. A good number of quail. A couple of nice raccoons. Obviously, the couple of decent gators. It was cool to get back out here, though, and... You know, I think that was the, the big thing that I realized in coming here during the 24-hour stream. There's so much to do on this map, like, at almost any given time you can have, whether it's the, the small game or even big game, somewhere near you to where you can go after them, and I think it won't be long till we're coming back here again. I really do enjoy this map, and I feel like I kind of got away from it and forgot some of the cool things that you can do here, and coming back kind of reminded me of that. But after what feels like a really long wait for this gator to float over a nice dark brown 403 gold. Made that brain shot there at 117 meters. And yeah, I think that's a pretty cool place to wrap up. So uh, once again, I'll mention it. 
the 24 hour stream highlights are coming. Uh, I'll have to go through all that and try to make that video hopefully in the next couple of weeks. And uh, yeah, looking forward to getting back out here on Mississippi once again as well. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.